Hello, it's Gail, and happy Valentine's Day. I just wanted to share with you today a little um, update on my coffee journal, and I wanted to show you a new pen. If you're expecting a fountain pen, I'm sorry, it is not a fountain pen. This is a rollerball pen. I bought this from Gold Spot Pens, and it is a Tornado exclusive. I saw this on their... Well, I subscribe to their newsletters, so I get these, like, uh, updates or whatever. And, of course, the coffee theme lured me in. I did not need another pen. Well, wait, no, I didn't say that. I always need another pen. Um, but I bought this for my husband because a while back I made him a coffee journal, or I bought coffee journals from an Etsy shop, and I thought it would be fun if he had a pen that went with it. So when I saw it, that was my excuse to buy it. So it is a roller ball. It's a, um, well, you can see, I hope, the little latte type um, thingy on the top. Like there's, you know, foam in the latte. And he said that he liked it. And I think it's a nice little size. It's got some weight to it. It's not super heavy. Might be, um, Comparable to the Caveco brass, something along those lines. So let's just see. I have not written with it. And it does come with an ink cartridge that you can refill. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I have some notes here. Let me double check. This is the Ombre Macchiato Limited Edition. I don't remember how many total I think he had. Oh, here. It's right here. So there's 773, and this is number 207. Hang on. Okay, I just wanted to double check with my husband because he did read the printout that I copied for him. Um, there's 773 pens, but it's in honor of 1773 in the Boston Tea Party. So the symbolism and the, um, the historical aspect I thought was fun got this clip here. I never use a clip. Everybody talks about the clips. This seems super tight to me. I probably would be afraid of bending that out too much, but it is. And well, actually that worked a little better. If you lift it from the bottom. So it's, it'd be pretty tight if you're the type of person that does want to clip this on something and make sure that it's secure. This would definitely be secure. So um, also, this is the thingy, the box, if there's such a thing as a round box, the container. So when he took it out of his package this morning for Valentine's, he was thinking, oh, it's, it's macchiato. I'm like, no, no, look further. It's actually not coffee, but a pen. Well, they talk about fountain pens in here, uh, a little bit about the roller ball usage, which you can read later, but let's give it a whirl. Ooh, super nice. Let's see if I can go closer. Very smooth. I mean, it feels like writing with a fountain pen in a way. It's, it's a very smooth writing experience. And I, I honestly don't know that much about this kind of pen. Let me go back to normal here. But um, it feels like it's like maybe a gel pen. So, you know, if I'm doing a review, I should know what I'm talking about, but we just got it, and I just thought it was cool. There's the 207. So I have not researched it a lot, but I do know that my husband has often written with this kind of pen, you know, a regular pen versus fountain pens. I'm winning him over to fountain pens, but this just seemed like something he would be comfortable with right away. So I wanted to show you that. And... Here's my coffee log. So my good friend Donna, who's always doing thoughtful things for me, made this little folder, a pocket-sized 
slash field notes folder, coffee themed for my coffee journal. So I put that in the front and I put the receipt in from my latest purchase and here's some ephemera that she made and it's really cute. So I'm gonna decorate the pages with that. I didn't look in here to see if this was, had something, okay, just making sure. Those are so cute. Are those coin or stamp envelopes? I'm curious to know. Um, anyway, this is adorable and it looks so fun, works well with my coffee themed cover here. So we went to a place called Sugar Beans. Um, it's a coffee shop that's in a newer construction, so it doesn't have quite the quaint feel that I think is so nice when you go to have a cup of coffee, but we were just going in and out after church yesterday. We've been there before and have had great experiences, but this time, and I wrote about it, I was not happy with a service that was some young kid, like they could be great, but he was like kind of like a zombie. And so in between our orders, he was looking at his iPad, my drink, my husband's drink, and my son Drew's hot chocolate were like, to say it was warm was an exaggeration. It wasn't even warm. It was very disappointing because the previous time when I bought um, the keto, keto coffee, it was amazing. Oh my goodness. So next time I'm in, if the owner's there, I'm going to say that guy is cold and his coffee's cold. But um, anyway, I will go back because I know they're capable of better. So I just kind of wrote about that. I used um, the gray ink. This is Jay Herban's Stormy Gray or Gris Orage. Um, and I have it in my Lamy Vista. Donna sent me this sample. Donna from South Shore Paper who also did this. Um, and I love this ink. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. It has little gold flecks in it. It's just a nice basic gray, but it's not super light. It's a, a good gray. It's something you can go back and read readily. So like it doesn't everything you can go back and read. But what I mean by that is it's like, you're not like, oh, I need sunglasses. It's so bright or you're straining to read it. It's just a very readable gray, easy on the old eyes. Anyway, I talked about the coffee experience, what I just told you, and I just wanted to show you how I had decorated some of the pages. I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to do that, and I did that, and I've been having a lot of fun. So I will just page through a few of these to show you. Some obviously will have more writing room than others, but I loved using all my stamps, stickers. I used some of my um, Tim Holtz inks on the edge, which has been fun. Um, mentioned before, but I'm trying to use a lot of my inks and stamps and washies. It's stuff that I forget to grab, so I'm working on that. And then you can see some of the new stickers. This is from Donna as well. I love that effect. Cookie, where well, you can see that it's cookie. Anyway, so basically I just inked up the pages along the edge or I used colored pencils or markers and just did a little page outline and I put washi or stickers <clears throat> or stamps. Here's that uh, washi I've been talking about that's made um, and from London Gifties. But that, I mean, if you can like do watercolor like that, that is just so amazing. <laughs> I always talk about that. Anyway, I haven't done them all. Just enough to make it where when I'm ready to write, I'm enough decorated ahead where it feels like fun to delve into a new spread. So there's my coffee. Oh, and I put this in here. I will put that somewhere or maybe cut off part of something and decorate with that. But that's the sleeve thing from yesterday's sadly disappointing coffee. I enjoyed doing that for my husband and my son, but I was telling Drew, it's like, oh, it's such a disappointment when you spend your money on something that's just kind of, eh, you know, but anyway, it was fun to be with them. So there's an update, a new pen for my husband, and I'm so happy to have found a purpose for my Pelican. It's 
great size for something like that. If we ever take like a day trip type outing and with the intention that we will also get coffee or a hot drink or, you know, really anything along those lines, this will easily fit into a purse without taking up a lot of room. That's all for now. Hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Appreciate y'all watching and I'll talk to you soon.